Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Hamley Athletic Complex for football action. Today, the U Pike Bears will host the uh, Warner. What was the, the uh, Warner Royals? And we're about ready for the coin toss. Pike will brings their captains out first. Let's see. Looking down there, we've got number 53 for the Bears. That's Matthew Fields. We've got number 14, Jordan Owens. Number eight, Cornelius Jackson. And number four, Sean Cook the second for the Bears. And the Warner team coming, captains coming from across the field over there. Warner out of Florida, Mid-South Conference foe. They're coming into the game 0-3 on the season. And U-Pike coming in at 1-3. So both teams really need a win here for their season. Charlie Pinson, along with Bird Collier, here bringing you all the action live on WPRG TV 5. Uh, 105 HD and uh, on the internet at WPRG.com and our WPRG Facebook page. So a lot of venues out there for you. We're also on Pike TV today. So, uh, Bird, uh, glad to have you in the box. Hey, Charlie, thank you for asking me, buddy. Bird and I have seen a lot of football games together from high school till today, which we won't say how long that's been. And here come the captains out for both teams. Looks like for Warner, well, it's number one. I'm not sure if that's going to be ben me or Tommy because they've got a one, they got du duplicate numbers on that. One's the quarterback. I'm going to assume it's Andre Tommy, the quarterback. And we'll see uh, who else they've got out there in just a minute. Is that uh, 60? Well, I don't see a 69, so. Looking out there to see the numbers, quarterbacks uh, getting the, everybody getting the instructions from the referee out there. They get ready for the coin toss to see who will start the game with the football. And there's the toss. And it will be won by, looks like Warner has won the toss. Yes. They will defer until the second half. So that means U Pike will start the ball with the football, which is kind of what you, I think it's what U Pike likes to do. They like to put their offense on the field first. And they'll be going from the, uh, used to be the swimming pool, I guess now it's the training facility, coming toward the river. And you pike in there, orange and white. Warner coming in in a royal blue, gold and white. Uh, Warner coming in, and they actually own a 1-0 record on the Bears in conference play, in play in general, as they went down to uh, Florida last season. You pike dropped one down there to Warner, the Royals, so they really need one here to even up the series. Yes, absolutely, Charlie. And this Warner Bunch, I, they're big. <laughs> I'm watching them here walk out, you know, to the come to their sideline, and they're they're huge. <laughs> They've got some good size. You know, U-Pike comes in with some size of their own. Of course, U-Pike a little bit more experience out there, I think. Warner, only their second year in the Mid-South Conference. I don't know how long they've had football down there. But they are, uh, I like the way they walk out onto the field, though. Yeah. Very classy. Uh, Walking out in pairs. we got just about a minute till the uh, kickoff, and here come the U-Pike Bears through the tunnel here on the other end. And getting ready to take the field for the kickoff return as they will head to the sideline, get their final instructions from the coaching staff and the offensive unit uh, will be ready to go. I'm not sure who the, let's see, look at the depth chart and see who the quarterback is today. Looks like uh, Bowen Smith will start and and Wofford will be the backup uh, coming into the game. So we may probably see both of them play here today uh, as that's the way it has been here in the past. You know, let's see, Bowen Smith is a, uh, I think he's a, he's a junior. So he's got the most experience Wofford only a freshman, but very athletic in the backfield. You see him be able to run the ball quite a bit, and just uh, he can make plays with his feet uh, when he needs to, and that's the thing that he, his athleticism makes up for a lot of mistakes for him. Both sides hitting the sideline. There's the horn. We're now ready for play. Is should see both units take the field for kickoff return, and here come the Bears. Looks like dropping back deep. For Pike will be Willie McLeod. Glad to see Willie McLeod back. He's been injured, had a hamstring injury that bothered him for a while, but he looks like he's back. He's, and Brian Mitchell, the wide receiver on the far side. So 
Dupike with their return guys ready. Warner set to kick it away. And it'll be number 31, Santiago, ready to kick the ball away. And now we're ready for football action as Santiago gives a signal to the sidelines. The officials blow the whistle. We're ready to go. And the kick will be straight down the middle. Looks like it'll be Willie McLeod taking it about the 11-yard line. McLeod trying to come up the middle. Willie makes a cut, spins out, breaks a tackle, breaks another one, gets out across the 30 to about the 31-yard line. Will be first and 10 now for Upike. And the Bears uh, see what they can do offensively against this Warner Bunch. Like I say, a lot of size out there, Bird. Yes, a lot of big size out there for Warner. But uh, that was a great return there by McLeod. He kept his feet churning and got extra yards on that uh, return. Well, that gives uh, Upike that double threat back in the backfield now. Actually, uh, more than that, as Andre Willis will start at the tailback, but they'll switch him and Willie McLeod out quite a bit, try to keep fresh legs into the ball game as much as possible. So Bowen Smith in the shotgun. He'll have twins to the left, one wide out right. Willis will be the tailback behind him. Look, you may see Pike will try to establish the run early here. High snap, and he hands it off to Andre Willis. Willis gets through the hole, breaks a tackle, cuts to the outside, and they drag him down after a gain of about nine yards, almost ten, as that was a shoestring tackle. It may have saved a touchdown. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, that high snap there, I th thought it was going to throw the timing off, but uh, Willis got a first down. Well, no, he's he got nine yards out of that. Yeah. Well, they're going to call it second down and uh, less than a yard here. Now they're wait Now they're going to move the sticks, okay. The officials, yeah. uh, I don't know if a chain crew messed that one up for the officials. Little question there. <laughs> yeah, it was close. I mean, it was close. Twins right, one wide out left. Shotgun for Smith. Bowen Smith looking to throw. Steps in, fires it across the middle. He's got his man. He's going to pick up about five, six yards on the play. Let's see, that is that Whitmore on the catch. Braxton Whitmore, number 13. Be a gain of six, looks like, second down and four. Pike will mixing it up early here. They'll come with twins each way now. Smith will go out of the shotgun, back behind him again to the right is Andre Willis. Long snap count. They'll take it, and he's going to hand it. Nope, fakes it, throws it out, and he's got his man. He's got a first down. Well, he's going to be right at the marker. Let's see, that was uh, Raquan Birch. And the wide receiver, I think he has just enough for the first down. That was a great RPO play there. Yes, he was. So they'll call it third down and one. Said he just shy of the marker. Trips to the right, one wide out left. So Andre Willis. This time it'll be the pistol formation. Bowen Smith moves him into motion. That'll be the empty backfield. Smith pumps, and he'll take it himself. Smith with a lot of room to run. Hook slides at the 40 for a first down. Great, play. Great play right there. Okay. They're going to say hook slid at the 41s where they'll place the ball. Got a first down out of that play. Yep. We're moving the chains. Yep, that's what you want to do. Trips to the left. Upike looking back to the sideline. Bowen Smith trying to get his call. Plenty of time still on the shot play clock, shot clock. I'm getting an early start. <laughs> Trips left, pistol formation, or shotgun formation, moving out to the left. Smith now gets everybody set, takes the snap, and he's going to hand it off up the middle. Zondre Willis breaking tackles again. He gets out across the, right to the 35-yard line, gain of six. It'll be second down and four. So big, Michael's been able to pick up pretty good chunks of yardage here on every play. Absolutely, Charlie. And they need that, you know, they they need a touchdown. Yeah. After, you know, last week, going down to Lindsey Wilson, that, it was a bad game for them down yeah. there, so they need points here. Yeah, it would get be some confidence. Get them started. You're right. You know, win. You got to win the ones you're supposed to win, right? Absolutely. Smith in the shotgun. Twins left, one wide out right. Takes it and fakes. Pulls it up. Throws it up that wide. Got a man. 
And boy, nice. Oh. Whoa, that was a really nice dip from Arm by Anna Free Brown. Oh, man. And we got a first down out of that. Oh, yeah. And I tell you, he, he just leveled him, didn't he? You daggone right he did. So first and 10, U Pike now at the 24 yard line. Twins to the left, or twins right, one wide out left. Shotgun formation again, Smith. Takes it, and this time he's going to hand it off, and up the middle goes Zandre Willis, and Zandre Willis will get uh, about five yards of it just across the 20 to the 19-yard line. He made, he made a heck of a cut right there, get extra yardage. He, he, he does, he's, he's really elusive. Yes, he is and he's quick to go with it. Twins to the right this time, one wide out left. Bowen Smith getting his call from the sideline. He'll get in the shotgun. Long time to waiting on the snap, takes it, and he's going to throw it all the way. This time going downfield, he got a man, and no call. Hmm. Yeah. I thought that was face guarding myself. But yeah, absolutely. They're saying it's uncatchable ball? Okay. Yep. So it'll be set or third down in five. This is the biggest third down they've had so far. The only other third down they have was like a yard. Yes. This is four down territory for the Bears here or, or a field goal. I'm not sure. That's a pretty good field goal, though. Shotgun trips over here in a bunch on the right side. They're going to pitch it out to Zandre Willis. Willis gets some blocks. Zill Willis takes off. He's going to go. Down. Did he get in? Yep, he did. 19-yard run for Zandre Willis to put the Bears on the board first to make it 6 to nothing. Great run by Willis. And I'll tell you, they, they brought those bunched receivers out there, and they blocked extremely well. Which Absolutely. You know, you know, always questionable on receivers when they're blocking for the running play, but they made, they gave him a nice hole to go through. They sure did, Charlie. So he goes into the end zone untouched. Here comes the extra point attempt from is that 31. No, it's not 31. Kick is up, 30. and it is good. William Chandler. Yeah, Chandler. So U Pike takes the lead, seven to nothing. 10:46 to play here. In the first quarter, we're going to take a break. This is Bears football. We'll be back in just a moment. Hall Funeral Home has provided caring services since 1947, helping families honor the ones they love. With convenient parking and access, our facilities provide an affordable, comfortable place for friends and families, whether you need spacious accommodations or a more intimate setting. Hall Funeral Home's pre-planning services can shield loved ones from making decisions at a stressful time. For pre-planning or at your time of need, trust the caring professionals at Hall Funeral Home in Martin. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex. The Bears lead it 7-0 here as they take the opening kickoff almost about 70 yards down for the touchdown. Andre Willis caps it off, and here's the kick. Chandler's kick is a little bit short and high, taken at about the 15-yard line by Warner. Warner got a nice return out front, and that was number 25, Ralph Hughley, or Hughie. And it'll be first and 10 you, or for Warner, the Royals, at the 36-yard line. So I got a good return that time. Yes, it was, Charlie. He got that uh, corner turn there and went on up the sideline. And it was a short kick, too. And so Tommy at the quarterback will go out of the pistol. He'll have twins to the right, one wide out, or twins left, one wide out right. And kind of an eye formation in the backfield out of the pistol. Tommy takes it, and he'll hand it up the middle. And there's a big run. That's out to about the... 42, was that 25 again, Ralph Hughie? 
29. Okay. So 29 is Jeffrey Perry. That don't look right. 28. 28. 28. Wilson. Okay. Looking at the roster, who's listed as a, a safety or a shortstop. I'm, a, I'm sure it's strong safety, though. Same formation, twins right. Tommy in the shotgun, or in the pistol. Pike will show him blitz up the middle. Here they come, and the ball's pitched. Oh, and fumbled, and it goes, oh. goes out of bounds. It'll stay with uh, Warner. Nobody couldn't recover that one. Pike were trying to scoop and score is what oh, they yeah. were trying to do. Absolutely. That's a loss of a bunch, though. It'll lead back to the back to 34, it looks like. Yep. Well, maybe not. Well, we'll call it the 36 as it's across the 35-yard line. And let's see. And now they're going to now they're going to move it back to the 34. I, th I thought the uh, the judge on this side had it marked at the 34, and he did. So it's third and 11. That'll actually be third and 12 now. So third down, 12. 9.52 to go here in the first quarter. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Now we've got a Whoa. official timeout. Is he not happy with something there? Are they still trying to respot the ball or what? The officials. Yeah, it may yeah. be third down. You're yeah, right, it is third down. There you are, correct. Down. Yes, that's right, because they did. They had the run, and then they had right. the fumbles. That's two downs. This will be third down. You, They are correct. Right. Very observant by the officials. Glad to see that. Trips left, one wide out right. Now one back in the backfield with him. Tommy in the shotgun. Andre Tommy takes a snap. He is looking to throw. Throws it out wide. Got his man. And he's got some speed, and he may have got the first down. That's Hughie. They're going to put him just. Wow, well, it's going to be close. They're going to give it to him. Okay. They're going to give it to him. Yep. And, I, you know, you back had a good, a good chance there. Nobody just came up to make the tackle. Twins each way now. Empty backfield, trips right, one twins to the left. Tommy in the shotgun by himself. Michael shows blitz, they back out of it. They're going to try to do the same play again. Bears this time, blow it up, and he'll only get about a yard. Who's that on the tackle? Is that six? Yes. Christopher Dublin. And we'll call it no gain on the play, actually. 8.45 to play here in the first quarter. 7-0 lead, Pikeville. This is Warner's opening drive of the ball game. They did get one first down, and that'll be second and 10. See what kind of formation. They've been mixing the formations up quite a bit here. Now they'll go back to that uh, I formation. Twins right, one wide out left, and they got a big fullback in there. Big fullback. Tommy getting set. Long snap, takes it, and he's going to hand it off again. And not much that time. Wilson again on the carry. And we're going to call it a gain of two, third down and eight. Joe Fluker on the tackle. So third down and eight, 7.54 to play here in this uh, first quarter. U-Pike with a big third down stand coming. Trips to the right, one wide out left. Tommy in the shotgun. Tommy back to throw, going to go one-on-one, -on -one and it's going to be caught for a first down, and that is number eight, Theodore Hammonds. That was a good, that was a good throw by that one quarterback right there. And the defender never turned his head to look for the ball. No, he did not. So the Royals have a first down down at the 35-yard line. Just call it the 34. So first and 10 now, Warner. 
Wins right, slot left, wide out left. In the shotgun, Tommy. Mike will switch in the defense of lineman. Showing blitz, and they're going to try to throw it again. It's going to be incomplete. Too tall that time looking for Suarez. And he threw a bullet. Yeah, he did. He I got mean, an arm on him. You got that right. 7.03 to play here in the first quarter. Still 7-0 lead, U-Pike. Warner has it second down and 10 after the incompletion. Warner uh, trying to figure out uh, the play here. Everybody coming in now the huddle. And evidently the play clock down is working down to 14 seconds. Twins to the right, one wide out left. High formation out of the shot pistol. Tommy takes it, hands it again, the second man through. That's nice run again yes. by uh, Javon Wilson. And he may have another, he's got a first down. He made two great cuts right there to get extra yardage. Now Pike was able to hold him for a couple of couple of downs and then uh, give up the big play. So first and 10 now, Warner, ball on the 23 yard line. Warner comes back out again. Twins to the left, one wide out right. Pistol formation. Eye out of the pistol. Tommy will step up and get another call from the sideline. Tommy now set, takes it, and Tommy. fumbles it, and he'll fall on it. Yep, got back on it. But he'll lose about uh, two yards on the play, maybe three. Looks like he's going to lose three. No. Nope. Third and 13. And third down, 13, 550 to play here in this first quarter. Trips to the right, one wide out left. Pike will leading seven to nothing. And Tommy out of the pistol. He's got Wilson behind him. And he fakes the handoff to Wilson, looking to throw. And he pump fakes, freezes the defense, and gets a chance. He'll run it himself. And he's not going to, he's going to be, well, I'm going to mark him right at the 20. Well, now they're going to back him up. I guess he, Looks like he lost another yard. Yep. So third down coming up now, third, and we'll call it uh, 14. So third and 14 coming up now for the uh, Warner Royals. Bears need to try to get a hold here, maybe get the ball back. Absolutely, Charlie. Trips to the right, one wide out left. Shotgun formation for Andre Tommy. Tommy gets everybody set. Takes the snap, he is looking to throw. Pike will come with a blitz, he throws it out and it's gonna be caught, but well short. Looks like that was 12, Martin. Great stop right there, Charles. Yeah, Bears really needed that, and that's gonna be fourth and about, uh, call it fourth and 13, according to the scoreboard, I'll go with that. They're going to go for the field game. Yep, let's see. That'll be, what, a 42, 43-yard field goal. Yeah. You know where they spotted at here. And number 12. Nope. Is, the, is that 12? No, they're going to punt it. Uh, yep, they're going to punt. James Martin, wide receiver, number, no, let's see, got, yep. We're going to try to get everybody out. He's a wide receiver. I, I wonder about this one. Let's see. They're going uh, to have to lay a game, so it'll back them up five. Yep, Hunter is. James uh, A. Martin. Yep. He's a wide receiver. According to the day, or You're according right. to the roster. You're right. He's not who they list as the punter. Let's see. No. That makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, he's going to punt it away. Hey, I tell you what, that's a nice look. Went out of bounds. Let's see where they where they walk it up to. Uh, about the 11 or 12. They're going to mark it no. at the 8. 8. 
Right at the seven, I guess, where they're going to put him. So maybe he's their coffin corner expert. It was excellently placed. Yes, for sure. They're going to mark him at the eight, looks like now, after they set the football. So first and 10 from the eight with 4.14 to play here in the first quarter. Bears lead it. Seven to nothing here. Let's see. Now you got, uh, looks like, is that Willie McLeod in at the tailback now? Did they make the change? Twins right, one wide out left for the Bears. Hard to see. I think it it's, is. Huh? It is. It's hard to say his number. I think that's number seven back to uh, at the yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. Tailback. And Bowen Smith takes it. And he's going to hand it. Hand it. Oh, Willie McLeod makes a break. No, makes a nice juke move. Gets out to the 25. We're to be first and 10. U Pike. So a pickup of at least 16, maybe 17. 16 looks like. Great run. 17. Actually, he was at the 8. So 17 yard pickup. So first and 10 now for the Bears with. Four minutes left here in the first quarter. They lead it seven to nothing after getting the stop on Warner. Twins left, one wide out right. Smith in the shotgun again. Bowen Smith takes it and again going to hand it to Willie McLeod. Breaks another oh, tackle, breaks another. Cuts. And another first down run for Willie McLeod. He picks up 13 yards on the carry. Oh, made some beautiful cuts there. That uh, hamstring must be better. Oh, man. So that will tell you. You know, he was hampered early on. First missed about two or three games with that hamstring injury, but you're not showing any ill effects out there today. Absolutely none. So ball clock ticking down, 325 to play here in the first quarter. Pike will have it first and 10 at the 38. And a eye formation out of the pistol. And they're gonna give it to Willie McLeod again. Why not? Oh, and he stumbles a little bit and falls. Got a yard on it. Uh, oh, no gain. Well, the turf monster got him on that one, didn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> Twins left, or trips to the left, one wide out right. Smith out of the shotgun. Willie McLeod back there with him. Warner running the four down, four down lineman on the front. A lot of room over here on his right side if they can get it open. And he sees it. And he throws oh, it. Pew. And oh. incomplete. Two of them over fighting for position. And he couldn't break back to the ball. Oh. Uh, and we got, got a flag. flag. Yeah, that could be holding where it's coming down at. Well, when he made that cut to, to make that throw right there yeah. on that run. I noticed the lineman, he had him, you know, with his hands up around his yeah. uh, So that's probably what they got. We'll see right here. Yep, we're about ready to find out. A lead, an eligible receiver downfield, so be declined. It'll bring up third down and 10. Well, let's see what Justin Lamb has in his repertoire of plays right here. He's calling a good game so far. He has so far, you're right. Twins to the left, one wide out right. Smith in the shotgun. And we've got a whistle here. Officials uh, discussing something. Yeah, it's gonna interesting. Yeah, the, uh, like Warner's coach may have asked, he had a question out there. Maybe he didn't want to decline the penalty. Because he's not a loss of down, it's just a five yard penalty, right? Right. Well, they're gonna they're gonna mark it off. He didn't mean to decline because they put the back the second down back on the sticks. So he decided not to decline the penalty, I'm assuming now. Maybe not. Okay, so they will t they will accept the penalty. So it'll be second and fifteen coming up now yes. for the Bears. Marking it off now. Uh, you know that's a, that's that's a that's a tough call right there on that part of the field whether you take that penalty or not. Yeah, absolutely. 
So the white hat trying to explain to everybody what's going on here. Uh, they're having a lot of discussions today. They do, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe they found out the Buffalo Wild Wings ran out of chicken, <laughs> and they just want to make sure there's going to be some later on today <laughs> after the game when they go. Smith in the shotgun. Twins left, one wide out right. Pikeville will wait and get another call from the sideline. Lamb signaling the play in. But second and 15, Bowen Smith back the throw. Steps up into the pocket, going deep. And oh, oh, what a catch. Oh. Then there's no flag on that. That's pass interference. Absolutely. He had him He had him hooked before the ball got down there, fighting for, you know, they call it fighting for position, but there's no flag on that play. Wow. I'm not sure. I would. I, maybe I'm wrong. I maybe, but I thought that might have been pass interference. Yeah, I, I thought so too. And it, he made the catch, and then you know it, the didn't, ball came out. Yeah, didn't hold it all the way to the ground. No. Yeah. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Smith in the shotgun. Smith takes it. Pumps and now he's in trouble. Now he's got blockers in front of him, and he's going to run it out across the 40 to the 41. They'll bring up fourth down and seven. Let's look for the Bears to probably punt it here. You now, Warner has not been able to stop the running game very well today for the Bears. You might see them run the ball a little bit more. So the punter's out there. Yep. We need a good punt right here. Yeah. Pin them, pin them way deep. Needs to get one to turn over and get him a good bounce on Absolutely. Him. And he's ready for the snap. Plenty of time, no rush. He gets away, a nice end over end punt. If that hits, it takes a pike will bounce, does a great job getting. Oh, oh did they try to, he, did he recover that ball? Wow. I tell you, that was a great job, but that's a terrible decision. Yes, absolutely, a <laughs> horrible decision. Yeah. But Bears get great field position. He got that ball, like I said, when, when we call that turnover, that's what you want it to do. You want it to come spiral until it hits, and then when it hits the ground, you want it to be going end over end. Yeah, absolutely. And it rolled all the way down to the. Looks like the eights where they're going to mark it. Yeah. Or the seven. Well, I, I think it's the eight. I'm going to call it the eight. So it'll be first and ten for the Bears with a minute 56 to play here in the first quarter. I mean, for the Royals. 7 0 lead for the Bears. The Royals come out. Twins right, one wide out left. That I formation out of the shotgun or the pistol. Tommy takes the snap, hands it off, and boy, the Bears oh, all over that were. Yes, they were. He's actually going to lose a couple of yards, maybe going to mark him back at the six. They call it second down. What do you think, second down and 11 or second and 12? Second and 12. Second and 12. Pike will bring in a little bit of pressure on that when they will get in the backfield and disrupt everything. Warner now will go with the spread again. Twins each way. Shotgun this time for Tommy. Got one back in the backfield with him. Tommy gets everybody set. Takes the snap. Takes, throws it in. Incomplete. I'm not sure who he was throwing that one to. Looked like it threw it between two receivers who were actually probably too close. Well, number eight over there. Okay, that was might be who was looking for, Hammonds. Yes. Theodore Hammonds. Yep. So, 106 to play here in this first quarter, and it's third and long now for Warner, the third and 12, we're going to call it. And they'll come out again with the spread look. Yep, they're going to go twins to the left, one wide out right. Got an extra tight end. May look for him to run it here or try to get him protection. 
Tommy standing just to cross. He's dropping back into the end zone to throw. Now he's being chased. Throws it across his body, incomplete. Short hopped it, looking for number 17, Dickerson. Yes, yeah, so that was the tight end lined up on that uh, on that right side over there. He was running for his life there, too. And, you know, and, and hard, a very hard throw to throw on your run. You're throwing across your body, back behind you. Uh -huh. And, you know, but he did get rid of it. All right, now the Bears have a good opportunity to hear with this punt. Yes. Looks like it's going to be number 20, Cedric Thomas, back to return for the Bears. And they're punting from the back end of the end zone. Bears come after him. They can't get it. Fair catch called for and made. They're going to yeah. say he caught it at the 39, so can't get much better field position than your opponent's 39. Excellent field position right here. Yep. And let's see. U Pike's offense huddling up before they're going out onto the field, getting some last minute instructions. Here they come. Let's see who we'll have in. Will be Zondre Willis, will be the tailback. And Wofford coming in for the first time tonight at the quarterback position. Twins stacked to the left, one wide out right. As Wofford in the shotgun, back there with him is Andre Willis. That is a uh, dangerous pair of runners. Wofford takes the snap, and he gives it to Andre Willis, and nowhere for him to go. He's actually going to lose a couple. Back to the 41-yard line, loss of two. So second down and 11, so evidently uh, Warner studied film on Pikeville and expected the running game come when they brought Wofford in. Yes, absolutely. He can throw the football, though. He's got a rifle for an arm. 7-0 lead, Pikeville. we got about 20 seconds left here in this first quarter. Pikeville will have to take one more snap. And Wofford looking over to the sideline for the call. And they're going to hurry up. He's going to go out of the pistol. Twins left, one wide out right. Takes the snap, and he fakes it. He's going to throw it downfield and incomplete. The uh, wide receiver, Ortiz Clark, cut to the inside, and Wofford threw it to the outside, and just a miscommunication. And we got third and one. And we got .7 seconds left here in the uh, first quarter. So, Pipe, well, we'll get one more play from third and 12. Wins this time to the right, one wide out left. Of course, this may be four down territory for the Bears here. This in Wofford in the shotgun. Willis back there with him. Wofford back to throw. Looks downfield, has all day. Now he's forced out and forced to run with it. And he's going to get down to about the 36-yard line, pick up a five, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. Pikeville leads it 7 to nothing on the Intermountain Sports Network. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years, Always look for the overhead door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door. John Earl Hunt has over 30 years experience representing disabled people. I'm John Earl Hunt and I've dedicated my legal career to helping people who are unable to help themselves. If you're unable to work because your job shut down, or because of physical or mental problems, please call me or come in and see me so that we can discuss your just legal options. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Welcome back to Hamley Athletic Complex. 7-0 lead for the Bears as we ready to start the second quarter. They'll have it fourth down and six at the 36 of Warner. Look for them. To, I think they'll go for it here. I believe you're right, Charlie. 
I mean, you've been able to move the ball all the evening, all afternoon on them. Let's see. We can give you some of those numbers. Looks like right now the Bears um, have played, have had 11 rushes for 88 yards in the first quarter. They have a total 17 plays for 103 yards. They've held uh, Warner to 14 plays and 37 yards. So, you know, those are good numbers. Yeah, absolutely. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Wofford still in at quarterback. And Zandre Willis will be behind him in the pistol. Fourth and six. And Wofford runs it. And Wofford has the first down, down near the... 25, we're going to call it the 26-yard line, but that's more than enough to pick up the first down. That's a 10-yard gain. So first and 10 Bears. So the Bears able to uh, get the first down, keep the play, keep the drive going. Chains are moving. And that's one of those things with Wofford out there. Like I say, he, he wanted to throw the ball, but the opportunity for him to run came up, and he was able to capitalize to it with his athleticism. And here comes, they're going, oh, oh, oh. the option, oh, it's the old flea flicker. And uh, they're not going to get very much out of that. That was uh, 89, Duke Ferguson had, had the ball. And that, that brings back shades of our youth and the man we both loved is Mr. Eddie Bevins. <laughs> yeah. That was an Eddie Bevins play right there. Yeah, yeah. but give Warner their uh, uh, great, they had great defensive coverage. They had that uh, receiver covered up. Yeah, I mean, uh, even though it was a, the the trick play, they stayed at home, did their job. Yeah, absolutely. So second and 11, Wofford going to hand it off. And Zandre Willis makes oh, another cut. nice cut. Beautiful and cut. Zandre Willis has it first and goal at about the seven-yard line. Beautiful cut. Zandre Willis with another great run puts the Bears in scoring position again. The ball at the eight, where they're going to call it. Zandre, uh, that's it. his runs remind me of his days over at Belfry. Right. <laughs> you know, sometimes he looks like a man among boys when he's out there, doesn't he? Absolutely. Twins to the right, one wide out left. Wofford in the shotgun. Willis back there with him. Hand it off, and Wofford gives it to Willis, and he'll be slung down, should be the five-yard line. Second down and goal, pick up of three, so second and goal from the five. So Dylan Wheatley coming in to the game. Wheatley the uh, will be moved in to have a fullback. Wheatley also can carry the ball. He was a standout at Danville. And, uh, he was pretty good football down there. <laughs> I believe it was Dan. Well, let me look back here and make sure when I said that. He's the, because uh, I know we saw him play over here. And let's see, a pistol eye, we'll call it. And they're going to give it back to Zandre Willis. He gets one block, takes off. He's racing to the end Touchdown. zone. Touchdown. Five-yard run for Zandre Willis to make it 13-0 Pike. And I'm looking, there's, I know there's a roster with where they come from here on here. It's probably toward the front. I may have looked at the wrong spot. But I'll tell you, a great run. Let's see, Wheatley is 40, what number is Wheatley? 41? Nope, I got the wrong number there. I have to look him up. Here comes Dylan Wheatley. Uh, shows Lexington Christian Academy. Lexington Christian, that's right. Kick is up, and it is good. Pike leads right. it 14 to nothing, 12-18 to play here in the first half. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. To your agreement required. At times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. 
We've got the business grade services you need for less with the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Welcome back to the Hamley Lady Complex. Pikeville makes it 14 to nothing. Andre Willis with the touchdown run from five yards out puts the Bears up. And so far the Bears have looked good here in this first half. Let's see if we can give you some catch up my numbers here. Try to get you a number. Let's see. So Andre Willis has eight carries, 74, 71 yards, and two touchdowns. Pretty impressive afternoon for that young man already. And we're we still got 12 minutes to go in the first half. And now the officials give the signal, ready to kick it away, is Zaniel Phillips. And it's high floater will be taken at about the 12-yard line. If Pikeville can stay in their lanes, and they didn't. Nope. Yep, he's going to get a pretty good uh, return out to about the 37. And, and folks, if, you, if you're a high schooler out there watching this, that's exactly what happens. You got those lanes assigned. You got to follow them. Stay in your lane yep. and let the ball come to you. Don't go think. Don't go anticipating. That's a, that's right, Charlie. And the Bears' defense will have to stop Warner again. Warner will have it at the 37, first and 10. Yeah, on that return, that outside man, he he went inside and that gave him the probably 10 more yards. Yeah. Yep. Twins left, one wide out right. Shotgun. Tommy. I was showing the blitz. And here they come. And they try to run it up to the middle, cut back inside. Going to get a couple, maybe. Is that Tommy on the carry himself? I couldn't tell, Charles. Okay. It'll be... We'll call it a gain of one, second and nine. Trips to the left, one wide out right. We got Michael Young in at quarterback now, 14, I believe. They made changes, and they did. He throws it out wide, and nothing there. No loss of one. It'll be third down and ten. They have 14 at quarterback now, Michael Young. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I don't know if he tripped or the, the defender actually got a, got a finger out there and tripped him. We'll give him the doubt, benefit of the doubt saying it was the defender. Twins to the left, or twins to the both ways. Young in the shotgun. Young might have moved there. And he's throwing it downfield. And he pull it. And a man catches it. Still on the move inside the 10 5. That's going to be just shy of the goal line, I believe. Who Call was that? Was that? Call him out to two. You see who the receiver is. that 25 again? No. Let me look and see. 80. 81, I believe, Charlie. It'll be, we'll look here on the 81. Okay, it was Josh. 81, Ronnie got it. Joshua Benneby. Benneby. I'll tell you, he was a perfect throw. He couldn't have thrown it any better, and he made two really nice moves. Yeah, he made a uh, cut to the middle and then cut back to the outside. First and goal now from the two. All right, the defense has come, got to come up big here for you, Pat. High formation, and looks like we're going to go under center with Young this time for Warner. And he gives it up 25. Touchdown. Did he get in? Yep. Touchdown. So, Hughie. Ralph Hughie on the carry. And it'll be 14-6. The Bears uh, give up the big play. Yep. And Warner able to capitalize on it. So, here comes the extra point attempt by Warner. Is that, is that Santiago? 
Here comes the extra point attempt. It's up. It looks to be good. And it's 14-7. U-Pike leading, no. 10-03 left here in the first half. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. Hall Funeral Home has provided caring services since 1947 helping families honor the ones they love. With convenient parking and access, our facilities provide an affordable, comfortable place for friends and families, whether you need spacious accommodations or a more intimate setting. Hall Funeral Home's pre-planning services can shield loved ones from making decisions at a stressful time. For pre-planning or at your time of need, trust the caring professionals at Hall Funeral Home in Martin. Welcome back to Hamley Athletic Complex. 10.03 to play here in the first half. Pike will give us up the big play. Warner able to capitalize on it with a two-yard dive by Hughie. And it's a one-possession game now, 14-7. You Pike leading. Looks like the rain's starting to fall here at Hamley. Yeah, the umbrellas have started popping out. <laughs> and we'll have to keep an eye on them because they start standing up. We can't see anything. And boy, it's a nice kick. He takes him back to the four-yard four line. Trying to cut to the outside. He's got one. If he can make the turn, he'll oh. get back up to the 20. Let's see. That was a nice return out there by the Bears. I think it was Brian Mitchell on the return. Brian Mitchell with the return gets it out to the 19. So even though he kicked it deep, Bears get average field position. Bears come back out offensively. Let's see. Whitmore coming in. Got twins each way. We got Braxton Smith back in at quarterback. Or No, it's Bowen. Bowen. Bowen, Bowen Smith. Smith. I'm sorry. And Smith hands it off. Mm, nowhere to go. No gain on the play. Is that Willie McLeod, number seven? Yes. So no gain, second down and 10. Bears might have, may have to mix. Well, they've been mixing it up pretty good, though, really. Twins each way. Smith in the shotgun. He'll have motion. Whitmore going across the field. Bowen Smith now will have trips to the right. He's back to throw. Has time. The offensive line giving him Willie McLeod with the catch. And McLeod gets out to the... 20. What, 24? Yes, 24. Pick up a five. Third, third, third and five. five, yep. Nine minutes left here in this first half. Five will leading you 14-7. Long snap count. Smith will look back to the sideline. He's getting his call from uh, Justin Lamb. Like to see what the defense sets up in and then change the call a little bit. Smith gets everybody set again. Warner showing blitz. They come from the corner. Whitmore trying to throw. I mean, throwing it out. A and beautiful good catch. pass and catch. That's a first down for the Bears. That's uh, 85. James Friel's on the catch. Made a beautiful, beautiful yeah. catch. I, I have to get Mullen Smith put it right in there, too. Absolutely. Threw it over, and he you know, put enough arch and throw it over to the defender, let it fall in, and that's just touch. A beautiful spiral. First and 10 Bears. Ball at the 47-yard line of Warner. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Mullen Smith takes the snap and hands it off to Willie McLeod. And McLeod in a crowd out there. They still have got him down. They're going to blow the whistle and say, you're done. You're done. Picks up four, looks like. Second down and six. Nope, pick it up three. They're going to mark him back. Second down and seven. 
all 11 defensive players, all 11 offensive yeah. players, all <laughs> trying to just, move him. Just a pile, yep. Yep. Twins each way. Smith in the shotgun. Smith takes the snap. And he's going to hand it to Willie McLeod. Oh. And Willie breaks another tackle. Can't get loose from that second one, though. They're going to mark him down. Probably at the should be the 39. I thought I don't. They're gonna say his knee went down at the 40. I believe. Gain of four. Third and three. I thought he had at least the 39, but you know, trips to the left, one wide out right. Smith will look back for the call again. Justin signaling him. He did that on that uh, touch pass, or that pass yep. that uh, he, he recalled the play. So they're looking and at And they're going to run a little option. This time, and there's a nice hole. And Willie McLeod still oh. running without his helmet. And he took a hit to the head, too. <laughs> he's but he's, fired. Him a bit, he's so fired up. Yep. He's got to come out. Yeah, yeah he got to, he got, to take a, got to take a play off, at least, with the helmet comes off. But he went another two or three yards yeah. without the helmet. Well, you know, but now in, in today's rules, though, as soon as that helmet comes off, they blow it dead. dead yes. right there. Yeah. Yep. So Willie McLeod has the first down, though. So Zondre Willis will come in for Willie McLeod as he'll get a breather on the sideline, get his helmet put back on. Uh, he's fired up. Now. Yeah, he's ready to go. He's, he's walking back in. So first and 10, twins to the left, one wide out, or twins to the right, one wide out left. Smith takes his hand off, fakes it, throws, he got a man, oh, right behind him. Uh, Head and a free bound, he open. throws it in front of him, that's six. Uh, and he was wide smacked down. Yes, he it. was, oh, he, he made the cut between the two defenders in that zone, just found that crease and he was gone. And it was, you're right, it was thrown behind him. Yep. Dang. Second down and 10. And Willie McLeod right back in the ball game. 6.13 to go here in the first half. Pike will moving the ball, trying to get some players in. 12 seconds on the play clock. And they're going to go with split backs this time. Twins to the right. I think McLeod's going to get a touch right here. Yep. And they're going to nope. nope. They're going to let. Uh, oh, we changed quarterback. That's Wofford on the carry. And Wofford will get four yards on the play, second down and or third down and six. And Bowen Smith will come back into the ball game now on third and uh, six. It'll be twins to the right, one wide out left. The only bad thing about doing that when people know you're switching quarterbacks out to your running quarterback. Yep. Smith takes the snap, looks, throws across the middle, got his man, Whitmore, I believe. Is that 13? Yep. Yes. Whitmore down to the five, first and goal Bears. Made five. A, he made a beautiful cut to the yeah. middle. Absolutely. Well, you know, right now the Pitewalls figured out this zone defense of the uh, – the Royals, and they're just trying to find, and they're, they're sitting in those creases. Yep. And that's a good job with the coaches yeah. on top, the, the recognizing, yep. you know, the the defensive coverage. Timeout, 5.13 to play. Warner takes a timeout. So will we, 14-7 lead, U-Pike on the Intermountain Sports Network. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. John Earl Hunt has over 30 years experience representing disabled people. I'm John Earl Hunt and I've dedicated my legal career to helping people who are unable to help themselves. If you're unable to work because your job shut down or because of physical or mental problems, 
please call me or come in and see me so that we can discuss your just legal options. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Welcome back to Hamley Athletic Complex. It's first and goal now from the five-yard line for Pikeville. 5.13 to play here in the first half. They'd like to get that lead back. It's that uh, power eye, we'll call it, out of the pistol. They're going to put Willie McLeod in the uh, motion. I'll we'll hand it off up the middle. And did he get it? Nope, they're going to say he's down at the one. That was uh, 32, Dylan Wheatley on the carry. Again, Wheatley, the big back out of Lexington Catholic. And he was, a, he was a load to bring down in high school. We remember that. <laughs> yes, he was. Same so, formation. Yeah, second and goal now from the one. Bowen Smith under center. And he's going to sneak it in oh. to the end zone. Touchdown. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there it is. Dylan Smith with the touchdown. 4.38 to play here. In the first half, Pike will take a 20 to 7 lead. Getting ready to do add the extra point. We got a, a injured bear. Okay. I can't get the number though. Looks like a big lineman there. Yeah. Let's see. They're gonna roll him over. Looks like he's gonna get up. Oh, he's sitting up. Waiting on the trainers to come check him out here. Can't get a look at him, see who he is just yet. May have got his bail rung, is what it looks like. 62. 60. 72. Okay, sorry. 60. And here he comes, 67 coming off the field. That's Polanco, I guess is how you say that. Hey, he's, he's running. Yeah, that's, he's that's, a good sign. that's always that's a, good. That's a good sign. So the Bears trying to add the extra point here. Trying to go up back to 14-point lead. Try to go up 21-7. And you want to do that because Warner gets the ball to start the second half. The snap is down. The kick is up. It looks to be good. good. It is. It's 21-7. You pike for. 38 to play here in the first half. We'll take a break and be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Hall Funeral Home has provided caring services since 1947, helping families honor the ones they love. With convenient parking and access, our facilities provide an affordable, comfortable place for friends and families, whether you need spacious accommodations or a more intimate setting. Hall Funeral Homes pre-planning services can shield loved ones from making decisions at a stressful time. For pre-planning or at your time of need, trust the caring professionals at Hall Funeral Home in Martin. Welcome back to Hamlet Athletic Complex. 4.38 to play here in the first high pipe. Well, Adds back to the lead to make it 21-7. So they put you, they answer the touchdown by Warner and go back up by 14. Bears ready to kick it away. Zaniel Phillips ready to put a boot to it here. He's on his approach. And he kicks away. It's a little oh. pooch kick. Let's see. And they'll try. Oh, the ball's loose. Oh, they have it. It. got it. He caught it in the air. Did the officials give it to him? They do. Pike yes. recovers it. That was a right. beautiful job right there. The ball pops up in the air. The, the Pike player cradles it as he's going out of bounds and able to get the football. Beautiful kick. Now they will discuss it and see, but I think that uh, right inside decide where to put it at, too, as well. Looks like it's going to be at the 31-yard line. That's a big break right there for the Bears. Absolutely. Chance for them not quite to put it away, but to definitely put a lot of pressure on Warner. 
see how Warner likes throwing the football because they're about to get to the point where they have to start throwing it to stay in the game. Yes. Twins right, one wide out left. Smith in the shotgun. Willis back there with him. And they're going to hand it to Willis, see if he can put a dagger to him. And it, he is going to be down inside the 25, but I'm telling you, it was a late flag. I'm not sure what the call is. Now, if you're calling the flag there, I'm not saying that he didn't do it, but if you held that flag until he's already five yards down the field and he held five yards behind the play, then you're not, you shouldn't throw that flag. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Charlie. You know, hey, he's talking to the guy now. Yeah. I mean, probably arguing, probably asking the call because, you know. Yeah, Tom, Thomas Spears there. Uh, He's, uh, he was talking to the white hat. So it'll be first and 20 now for the Bears. Ball back out at the 41-yard line. Pipe will have twins stacked to the left, one wide out to the right. Pistol formation for Bowen Smith. And he's going to send Willis into motion. Going to throw out a little flank. Oh, a little oh, double pass. Oh, can get it to oh, it. Oh, it yes. Catches it inside the 15-yard line. Number 13, Whitmore with the catch. I think it was 89 throwing the football. Let me flip it back over here and I'll give you, it was Duke Ferguson throwing the ball. And he threw a beautiful pass. So the, uh, another uh, throwback pass, another trick play coming out of the Bears arsenal. <laughs> Mr. Lamb down there, yeah. he's, he's calling a great game. Well, now his dad used to coach with everybody, Eddie, yes. Eddie Bevins. That baby where he learned those kind of plays from. The power eye, we've got uh, Wofford back in at quarterback now. Out of the pistol eye, Wofford running the uh, pitch. pitch, gives it back to Zandre Willis and nowhere for Zandre to go. And they run it to the short side of the field there. Yep. No gain on the play, looks like. What they're going to finally mark it down at. So it'll be second down and 10 coming up now for the Bears. Let's see. Like we got Bowen Smith back in at quarterback. Still going to go out of that uh, pistol eye. One wide out each way. They're going to send motion. And they're going to throw it. Boy, oh, what? He threaded the needle with that he one. He sure did. Did he get into the end zone with it? Yeah, it's a touchdown. He can't fumble after he crossed the goal line. So the pass is complete to Braxton Whitmore. He comes up with the touchdown, and the Bears go up. 27-7, trying to make it a 21-point lead here, and the turnover on the kickoff was big for Pikeville. Absolutely, Charlie, and, and, and the touchdown pass right there, he threaded the needle on that thing. Yeah, well, you thought the defender had a chance at it, yeah. but he threw it right by him. Here comes the extra point attempt to try to make it 28. It in does. It's 28 to uh, 7. We'll keep it right here. We just took that glass break really quickly with 223 to play. Looked like Warrior was getting ready to come back and make a game of it, and the Bears have, have jumped out and put, and put up uh, 14 unanswered. Absolutely. And, and, and the the kick is what set the whole thing. Yeah. That's, that set it in motion right there. Well, you know, it's a great, uh, it's not really an onside kick, but that, that high floater, it was and you've got the mid-range guy trying to field it who's not used to it. And, and, and that side of the uh, kickoff team, they were in dead pursuit. I mean, they were in dead run, and when it got down there, it, the ball just popped into the UPOC uh, guy's hands, and there it was. It was a, it was a great catch to, to control the ball before he went out of bounds. Yes. Because if he doesn't control it, then it goes, he stays with Warner. And he was right on the sideline. Yes. So. And the official was right on him to see the play, too. That was great. Mm -hmm. Just a perfect situation for you, Pike. All right. And the Bears ready to kick it away again. And here we go. Pike will ready to kick it away. Zaniel Phillips ready to put a boot to it. 
see what uh, what they do with it this time. Do they try the same kick again? It was pretty successful. <laughs> I'd say he's going to go deep. No, yeah, you're right. He's going to kick it deep. Toward the sideline, though. Oh, yeah, and they'll let it go out of bounds. Yep. Mm. They'll move it back out to the 35. As this see, Hughie didn't want anything to do with that one. No. So bring up first and 10 now for the uh, Royals. Let's see what they're going to do. 35, yeah. So let's see. They're going to mark it at the 35-yard line, first and 10 now for the Royals. Trips to the left, one wide out right. We've still got Michael Young in at quarterback. He'll go out of the pistol. Mike will show him the blitz. Now they back out of it. Now they come with it. And there's a handoff. And that's uh, Wilson. And Wilson's going to get a pretty good return. Yep. Return out to about the 40. 41 yard line. Gain of about seven. Yep. So we're going to it to 42, actually. So gain of seven. You're right. Second down three. Twins left, one wide out right. That's a big slot over here on this side, too, isn't it? Big tight end running the slot. And they try to run it up the middle. And. Oh, we got a flip. Yep. We do have a flag there. He didn't get the first down. Got about a yard's all he's going to get if it stands. Face man. Oh, hands. Oh, face. defense or offensive hands to the face. You can't block with your hands in the face mask. So that's going to hurt them bad. They had a nice, they had the nice run. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to back it up. That's a 15 yard. Wow, 15 yarder from the point of the foul. So they'll move him back to the uh, 27 yard line. Second down and 18 looks like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now they're going to have to go way behind the chains. Twins each way. Young in the shotgun. And he's looking to throw. By oh, the pressure missed him. He's going to throw it downfield. He's got a man, and he overthrows him. He was open. Yes, he was open. It, 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 it was a beautiful, I mean, a beautiful throw. He just overthrew him. Yeah. So third down and uh, about 18. But he had some pressure right there. Yeah, he did. He had to roll out. You know, most quarterbacks are not used to throw it on the run. They and you know, if you don't, we, you like I say, we've seen a lot of football. If you don't set your feet before you throw it, you're not near as accurate. Right, exactly. Especially when you're trying to throw deep. Trips right, one wide out left. Young in the shotgun. Long waits, takes it, looking to throw again. Sets up, throwing, trying to throw deep across the middle and incomplete. Man he, dropped him. He, he on hit him one. in the hands. Yep. Josh Benneby had a chance at it but couldn't pull it in. So fourth down and 18. I'm assuming they will punt it here. I'd be shocked if they didn't. And UPAC has a great opportunity right here with a minute 23 yep. to get the ball down. And, and you know, uh, if they can get a touchdown, it would be great. And if they can get three points, that's great. That's right. You know, the good chance to add to it yep. and really – Demoralize this Warner team going into the break. You know, you, this will be the if they can score here, it'll be the third unanswered score in a row. Mm -hmm. Warner set to punt it away. Hope for a good return here. Oh, they got they it. almost got it. Nice. Re he's gonna try to return it, and it's nope. Can't get nowhere with it. That was Cedric Thomas on the return. Down at the 33. And it'll be first and 10 Bears now at the 33-yard line. You're right. Minute 16 to play here in the 
first half. Pipe up 28-7. Let's see how the Bears uh, can do here in this quick. Uh, they only got don't only got a short time to get it down the field. Well, they got enough time to yeah. get down. Twins each way. Bowen Smith in the shotgun. William McLeod back there with him. Pump steps up into the pocket, throws it across the middle, incomplete. Intended out there for Brown. Bring up second and 10. Tried to throw another one uh, through traffic that time. Mm -hmm. Made it through traffic, but he threw it just a little bit low for Brown to be able to pull it up. Yep. Trips right, one wide out left. Smith in the shotgun again. Now they'll look back, play. change play. Yeah. Looks like Warner may be going into a little prevent here, Bird. They backed a uh, bunch of people off the line. Mm -hmm. Just like using a, a four man rush. Yeah. 4 3 defense. And oh. let's see, Bowen Smith forced to run right with cut. it. And he's going to pick up about. Well, right at the mark. It depends on where the mark's at. Right at the marker, though. Let's see. Looks like he's going to be about a half a yard short. Okay. He got some people standing down here in front of the play clock. They're moving them now. Okay. Well, it makes sense. You want your quarterback to be able to see the play clock. So they give him the first down, first and 10. Ball at the 43, so a minute left to play here and, and four new downs. Trips right, one wide out left. Smith takes it, and he's going to hand it off to Willie McLeod. McLeod breaks a couple tackles, and Willie McLeod picks up a first down. He'll stop the clock long enough to move the chains here. 47 seconds left. And New Pikes are getting ready to run the next play as soon as they mark it. Yep. Trips right, one wide out left. Try to get a quick hitter out of here. And Bowen Smith back to throw. Steps up into the pocket, throws it, got his man. And it's going to be another first. Oh, he, oh. he cuts back inside, breaks another one, and he'll go down. Gets out of bounds. Yeah, got a flag, too. Ah. That was um, 83 Shelton. Andrew Shelton on the catch. Let's see what the call is going to be here. Let's see what the call is. Blocking the back on the Bears, I believe. I think they're going to call one of the wide receivers for a block in the back downfield. So that will come. Okay, it'll end up being a nine yard gain. <laughs> after the penalty. It'll be first, they'll repeat first down. Yeah. Well, they got the wrong way, they're saying. The chains. They got the chains running back. Oh, do they? Yeah, they need to move. They. I... I don't know if they have or not. I mean, you know, he got pretty good yardage. Yeah. They, the, the chains are right. It's, yeah, it's first and right. one because he, he had a really big gain on the play. You're right. First and uh, first and one. He steps up and Bowen Smith. He's, he's got run. He's got a lot of room. Actually, he's trying to get he out of bounds, stop the clock, and he does. <laughs> Bowen Smith has the first down. Now the yep. chains are moving. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of the, the, the chains. The chains were right. A lot of them were thinking they were wrong, but he had such a big gain. The penalty was marked off from down about the 20-yard line and come back. That's why. Yep. And you repeat first down on the penalty. 
Trips to the left, one wide out right. And you got 21 seconds left here. Bowen Smith in the shotgun. And he takes it back to throw again. Has good protection. Rolls out, pumps, going for the shot down the field, and it is oh. incomplete. Uh, hit him in the hands, and he dropped it in the yep. end zone. Uh. Well, you know, Great now, throw. Yeah. Yeah, he, threw, he hit the man right where he needed to hit him. You're right. It, the old saying is, if it hits him, it hits, it hits you in the hands, you need to catch it. That's right. Of course, now the defender had him wrapped up, so he yeah. may have had a hand in there. That's true. That's true. 13 seconds. Look, 13.7 left, looks like. 28-7 lead for the Bears. Twins each way. Bowen Smith takes the snap. He steps up into the pocket looking to throw, throws it out wide. Willie McLeod, and Willie McLeod can't break the tackle. See, with the Bears, they'll call a timeout here. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. 5.3 seconds left here in the first half. Would have stayed right here with it during the timeout as the uh, Bears trying to get it. Let's see, this would be a uh, about a 45-yard field goal attempt from here, wouldn't it? Yes. So we, do they attempt the field goal, or do they try to run one more play? I, Five seconds is a long time. But it's not a long time either way. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd probably go for the field goal. Yeah, if, he, if, that's, if he's got enough leg for it, it's yeah. a question. You know, yeah. that's the question that will have to be decided by the uh, coaching staff. Looks like the rain has uh, gone away for a while. And they're, they're going to run, run one more play. Yep. They're going to run one more play. So twins, twins each way. Uh, so third and four. Bowen Smith in the shotgun. Has motion. Trips to the right now. Smith takes it, looks. Throws it out there, and Brown catches it, and they'll call another quick timeout, and now they'll kick a field yes. goal. Beautiful good play time. right there. Play. And only four seconds on the clock, Bird. That's pretty good yeah. clock management right there. We'll still stay here with it during the break as the Bears uh, should be bringing out the field goal unit. Now you've got a 40-yard field goal. They give him the first, first down. It'll be first and 10. Mm -hmm. But they just don't have enough time unless they want to. You, you could try to go for six here, but I think you'd, you settle for three. Yeah, just go for the three. Because this the, well, you about drop back seven yards to kick a field goal. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a 30, a 40, 39 or 40 yard field goal attempt. Yep. Let's see. All right. Be a 39, be a 39 yard field goal attempt. Let's see if he's, I think, I know we've seen him have the leg for it. No. What's the, what we doing with the officials here? I don't know what's going on. Unless we're waiting on, uh, well, I mean, you know, we're the, you know, there, there's no TV timeout unless there's something, equipment issue with him. Or are they waiting on those kids, people to get out of the way in the end zone? Well, they're they're up against the fence, yeah, and they've moved a long ways down back toward the you know middle of the field behind the goal <laughs> post, so it, that shouldn't be any issue. Now I guess he's just worried about them getting hit by the football. I don't know. Uh, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're ready to attempt the field goal. It'll be a 39-yard attempt, and, and now Warner's going to call a timeout and freezing, talk about it. Freezing. Yep. So Warner calls a timeout. We'll just go ahead and stay right here one more time. It's been just, uh, hate to take a timeout with 1.2 seconds to go here in in the half. But Warner trying to put some pressure on the uh, field goal kicker here. And I mean, he has had his struggles early on in the season. Uh, last home game was last time I actually saw him. He kicked the ball pretty well. But now the first two, he struggled. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes here tonight for him. 
this afternoon. It feels like night where it's so overcast and a little bit cool. I mean, a beautiful afternoon for football. But yeah, you, uh, you got the lights on and you got the fog sitting on top of the hills. <laughs> Reminds you of a little bit of a, a start of a night game. Yeah. yeah. Warner coming back out onto the field. Pike will having another huddle over here, talking it over. Surely we don't see a trick play on a, well, I mean, you really can't run a trick play. You only got uh, 1.2 seconds, so. The only thing you can do is kick the field goal. I mean, I guess they're talking to the, trying to settle him down, make sure you don't go out there uh, nervous. And it is still going to be a 39 yard attempt. Ball on the just just inside the uh, right hash marks. Pretty much down the middle if he can get a straight kick. It's long enough. It looks to be good. It is. And the Bears lead it 31-27 at the break on the Intermountain Sports Network. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repair. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business grade services you need for less. With the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline. And our commitment to grow when you do. With a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. Two-year agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow. All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. 
We've got the business grade services you need for less with the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. Now we say out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business grade services you need for less with the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. Now we say out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. 
So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify-managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business grade services you need for less. With the fastest small business internet speeds available today, the peace of mind that comes with a 24-hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify-managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business grade services you need for less. With the fastest small business internet speeds available today, the peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline, and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet 
and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years, always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business-grade services you need for less. With the fastest small business internet speeds available today, the peace of mind that comes with a 24-hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season, when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years, always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. 
We've got the business grade services you need for less with the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. Now we say out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business grade services you need for less with the fastest small business internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24 hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. Now we say out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. You've got enough to worry about. 
So keep your Wi-Fi worry-free with our Meshify managed Wi-Fi from Gearheart Broadband. A Gearheart technician maps signal strength throughout your home. Then we install Meshify Wi-Fi extenders at key locations to deliver strong Wi-Fi that keeps all your devices running smooth. With no dead zones, relax with worry-free Wi-Fi. Available now from your friends at Gearheart Broadband. Call or click to learn more. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex. Here at the half, the Bears lead it 31-20, or 31-7, sorry. And we'll go through some numbers for you real quick. First downs, you pike at 18 versus 5 for uh, Warner. Pike will crush it 26 times for 188 yards. Warner, 9 for 9 yards. Passing yards. I'm sorry, I, mean, I got that wrong. It was, yeah, it was pressing yards. Passing yardage, 6 for 11, 92 yards for Warner. Pikeville was 11 of 17 for uh, 139 yards. Total offense, 20 plays, 101 yards for the Royals. The Bears had 43 plays, 327 yards. Uh, punt returns, not very much either one. One for no yardage for Warner Pike will head one for minus two yards. Kickoff return, uh, two for 41 for Warner, three for 33 for Pike will. Let's see, Pike will, or Warner punted it three times for a 31 yard average. Pike will only punted it one time, but it was a 52 yarder. Warner lost two fumbles. Pike will yet to turn it over. Penalties, two for 15 for the Royals. Pike will had four for 50. Time of possession, 11 minutes, 20 seconds for Pike or for Warner. Pike will have it 17 minutes, 39 seconds. Go through some individual numbers for you real quick. Uh, Wilson, four carries, 20 yards for uh, Warner. Hughie had one, uh, one attempt, two yards, and a touchdown. Mario Scott had one carry, one yard. And Andre Tommy had three carries minus 14 yards. Michael Young was two of four for 61 yards. Andre Tommy, four of seven for three yards. And let's see, the receptions, Hughie had one for 13, Martin one for one, Suarez one for 61, and Hammonds one for 17. Pike Bull, Zandre Willis, a big game, nine carries, 71 yards, two touchdowns, a long of 19. Bowen Smith carried it five times for 41 yards and a touchdown. Willie McLeod, seven carries, 46 yards. And Trevon Wolford, or Wofford, three carries for 20 yards. Bowen Smith was um, 10 of 16 for 112 yards and a touchdown. Duke Ferguson was one of one for 27 yards. Whitmore caught four ca catches, 69 yards and a touchdown. Anna Free Brown had two for 29. Birch, two for seven. And McLeod, two for five. Let's see, as far as tackles, Joe Fluker leads the Bears with three. Christopher Dublin has two. Rodnix has two and one for Andre Williams. Uh, De Deontay Bradley has seven tackles for Warner to lead the Royals, and we're just about ready to go back to action here, Bert. Yes, and the rain is coming down now, Charlie. <coughs> Yeah, it's getting uh, coming down pretty good now. Get the everybody settled to go here. Pike will ready to kick it away. Zaniel Phillips will put a boot to it. Let's see what Warner can do to open the game. The second half here, Pike will really get a stop right here. They can just about put this one away. Oh, we got that pooch again. Yep, little pooch kick, and it's going to go. It takes it a nice bounce. It's fumble, and it goes out, out of bounds. Yep. <laughs> It'll stay with Warner. They'll have good field position out at about the, well, we got a flag. Yep. Two flags. Is that going to be illegal touching? Did he scoot? Did he knock it out of bounds? Hard to tell about them flags on that side of all them yellow shoes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the officials discussing it out here. Warner is huddled up around their uh, OC over there on the sideline. Now they're coming out. Not sure exactly what it was. Was he dealing? So they'll back it up. 
Illegal batting. He batted the ball out of bounds, right? Okay. So that'll back it up inside the 25. This will be the 23. Where it'll be 24. Where it'll be first and 10 now for Warner. Twins right, one wide out left. Let's see how the uh, they play in that Kentucky rain out there. <laughs> they're going to under center, and they're going to try to run it. And, oh, they had him in the backfield. They still have him in the backfield. He is going to go down for a loss. Oh, and now what? Oh, they're going to call this on you, Pat. I think. Yeah. What do you do? I didn't see it. Well, when when they had him stop right there, 21 come running and jumped up on the pile. Okay. <laughs> yeah, here come the umbrellas trying to keep them. So that'll be a 15-yarder on the Bears. All right, they're going. They're going. Hunt. Hope they're going to hunch down with them. Yeah. So I can't see the sideline over here. Let's see. Twins to the right, one wide out left. We got, we still got Young in it, quarterback. There he goes. Yep, and Young will hand it off, and there's a nice pretty run. Good, pretty good run right well, there. I'll tell you, there can't stop him. He gets out to the 45, picks up eight. You got a good pitch up front. <clears throat> 38 on the carry. That's Buddy Edwards. Second and two now coming up for Warner, and they're going just going to go power football now. They brought the big boy in there. <laughs> He's big. He's a, that's that's a sure. big running back, yep. yeah. And they give it, don't give it to him. They give it to the other guy. He's going to get maybe a yard. That's 25 on the carry. 25 is Hughie. And he'll bring up third and one now, 13-27 to play here in the third quarter. Bears lead it 31-7. Taking the big fullback out. Yep. Gonna have to, maybe we're gonna try to spread it out again. Here, go back to the shotgun, let's see. Third and one, you'd think they'd you think they'd leave the big in? boy in yeah. there. Yeah. They bring another big boy in there. An unbalanced line to the right as well. And Pyro's got stopped. They've got him. Yeah. Hughie on the carry, and let's see. He gets he gets nothing, no gain. They're going to mark him at no gain. It'll be third, fourth down and one. Now they're going to go for it. And they're, man, they're bringing in the beef now. Yeah. Now, remember that old commercial, where's the beef? We see it right now. <laughs> uh, they've loaded up back yep. here in the backfield. They're going to go power football, going to try to fight with bringing the blitz. Let's see if they can stop him. And he, yeah, it's going to be close, Charlie. Let's see who's going to get the spot. This guy yeah. on the far side. Yeah, it's going to be a first down because I was looking at the uh, side judge over there from on the uh, Warner sideline. He come in. He was above the marker. I'm not sure this should have been the line judge on this side's call because I'm not sure you could see that because yeah. the power. But anyway, regardless. Let's see. Wins right, one wide out left. In the pistol. I will show them the blitz again. They come with it again, and they blow it up, but they throw it out of play action pass. And it's a oh, oh he's still down, still on the sideline, and he may go for the touchdown if he didn't step out of bounds. He went out of bounds, okay. Look back at the replay of that block, too. Make sure that head was in front because he sure laid him out. The official sitting throw flags. It must have been a good-looking block. Goes out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First and 10 now for the Royals. Twins left, one wide out right. Eye formation in the backfield. Young under center. And they're going to hand it off, second man through. And that's going to be Wilson, I believe, and he's not going to get anything. No gun. 
So we'll call it uh, second down and 10. Bears loading up the box up there, and they're, they're going to tell them you're going to run it. We're going to bring people up here to stop you. And they got that big old gigantic fullback. Yeah, he's a big old boy. It'll bring up a second down and 10, though. Warner back up the line of scrimmage. They'll go trips to the right, one wide out left. Now they're going to go back to the spread. In the shotgun will be Michael Young. Who's he got back there with him? Uh, is that so six is all I can see. Back to throw, Young, and overthrows his man. And, and it was a tall receiver to overthrow. Yeah. Going to bring up a third down and 10. So 26, Germer Cosby, the running back. Standing back there with him. It bring up, like I say, third down and 10. Warner comes out with trips to the right, one wide out left. Young in the shotgun. Young gets everybody set. Takes a snap. He's looking to throw again. Pipe will bring in some pressure. He throws it out wide. Got a man open. Missed him. So fourth down and 10 coming up now for Warner. Yeah, and that receiver there <clears throat> for Warner, he was, he was, he had the fight with defender. He had him beat. Yep. If, if the pass was right on the money, it, that would have been a touchdown. Oh, there's no doubt about it. <clears throat> It'll bring up fourth and 10 now. And Warner in that no man's land right here going to go for it. Mm -hmm. Ball at the 36. Yeah, they're, they're behind. Yeah, so. you got you to play now. Yeah. You got to throw it. Trips right, one wide out left. Young in the shotgun. Takes the snap, looking and trying to go deep again. He's got his man, and it is incomplete. Uh, and that was good pass coverage yes. right there. That 21 for the Bears, I believe, wasn't it? Yes. Curtis Brown just reached that turn. He came up under and knocked the ball out. I mean, mm -hmm. it was good defense. Pyro will take over on downs. So, because he had the ball in his hands, but when he came up, he just kind of punched it out. And that was right in the back of the end zone. Yep. Too. It would have been six if he'd held yep. on to it. So, the Bears able to come away with another stop. If they can put points up here, then this one is pretty much over. Yep. That will put Warner on their heels. And, you know, a team that's 0-3, it's hard for them to come back after getting down like that. Yes. Wins to the left, one wide out right. Bowen Smith in the shotgun. And he's going to get it off to uh, Zondre Willis. Willis trying to turn the corner. Can't, can't get it. Can't get it. <clears throat> Actually going to lose a yard back to the 35. Second down, 11 now for the Bears. Let's see what we got. You pike signaling the play in. Looks like it'll be twins right, one wide out left. Shotgun for Smith. Smith back to throw. Has time, throws it out to his oh. big foul. And Zandre Willis has some green in front of him. And they're going to sling him down at the 47, but it's a first down. You pike to pick up uh, of about 15. Good little swing pass out there into the flat. Well, he was looking downfield, looking for the open man. He had, he had the relief valve over there, and Warner didn't come up and cover him. No. The hot read, I think they call it. Mm -hmm. Trips to the right. Smith in the shotgun. Bowen Smith takes the snap, hands it off. Sandra Willis breaks a tackle, gets out to the 40, picks up about seven. Mm -hmm. Got to get to the 43 for the, or in the 37 for the first down. They mark him at the 40. 8.55 to play here in the third quarter. Pikeville leads it 31-7, and they're moving the football again. Four wide to the right this time. 
Owen Smith looks back to the sideline for the call. And still looking to the sideline. Only seven seconds on the play clock. They're going to hurry up and get one away here. Three seconds, two, they got it away. And they're going to hand it off again to Zandre Willis. And that might be a face mask. Yep. <clears throat> Zandre has the first down out at the 35 if it stands. Let's see what, oh, we're going to mark it against five. They're going to call the hold. Yep. Looks like the rain may be letting up. Well, maybe not. Trying it out to see. Where it <laughs> so it'll bring up second and 12. Second and 11. When they finally mark it. Twins right, one wide out left. Shotgun formation for Smith. Changing the play up. Yep. Owen Smith, they're looking at the defense to see what they're going to do. Warner looks like they're just going to rush four. His left side may be open. And he did. Hands it off to the left side. Oh, fumbles it. Football is loose. And out of bounds. Yep. He goes out of bounds, so it should be U Pike ball where it went out of bounds. And now the. Referees are discussing it. I thought it went out of bounds. So it yeah. should still be Pavel's ball. Officials are discussing it. Let's see. I think they're discussing where. Okay. I didn't know that one. No, I didn't Must be either. a new rule in there than that one. I thought where it went out. I of thought where it went out of bounds. Yeah. So the uh, it'll go back to the it'll be a first down. Ball will be at the 35 yard line. They go back to the point of the fumble. That's an I've looked that one up. An interesting call. I don't remember ever seeing it that way. I thought where it, I, I'm it, sure I'm sure it's the rule. I'm yeah. not so I've just never seen that rule called before. Twins right, one wide out left. Bowen Smith takes it, and Bowen Smith's going to keep it himself. Wants to throw it, and got his man. Did he stay in bound? Nope. Incomplete. So second down and 10 coming up now for Piper. 7.25 to go here in the first half. I mean, in third quarter. 31-7 lead for the U Pike Bears. And Bowen, <coughs> Bowen there, he there was a blitz on him, and he had to roll out of there in a hurry. Yep. Twins right, one wide out left. Smith. In the shotgun, takes the snap, and he is looking to throw. Out the Again, plant. outside to his Andre Willis. Andre Willis tried to cut that one back and gets down inside the 20 for a first down at the 19. Probably should have kept going down the sideline. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he was wide open down that sideline, but he made that cut back to the middle. Yep. <clears throat> Thought the rain would move out of here by the second half, and so far it hasn't. Yeah, it was coming down pretty good there, there at the half, but it's slacked off just a little bit. So... Owen Smith in the shotgun. Twins right, one wide out left. Looks back to the sideline. Now you bring a man in motion. Now there'll be trips to the right. Looking to throw. Throws it out at the end. Oh. Complete right through his hands. Yes. Intended for Shelton. It'll be second down and 10. And that could have been a result of a, a wet ball. Very possible, yep. <coughs> Yeah, that leather gets slick when it gets wet. Mm -hmm. Still raining outside. The turf keeps it clean, but it still it still gets everything wet. Yes. Pike will looking back to the sideline to get their play. Now they'll get set. Trips right. Smith in the shotgun. Willis back there with him. 
I, I would take a chance of running back to this left side. Well, oh, beautiful. Just cut. like that right there. Touchdown, Touchdown. Zondre Willis. I said, look, I said this left side over here looked like it was wide open down yes. the sideline. And they saw it and kind of sent him back into the in the open territory, and he just outran everybody to the end zone. Once he got through the middle, he made that cut back to the left, and he was gone. <clears throat> so the Bears now lead it 37. 37-7. Waiting for the extra point attempt. There it is. Kick is up. It is good. good. And we have a, I see a flag. Yes. I did, so yes. hold on, folks. See what the call will be here. And evidently it's on you, Pike. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're just talking to the Warner. I thought they were talking to Warner about whether to do, take it or not. Waiting on the official here to give us a call. And let's see. Personal foul. Personal foul. On the defense. And they will enforce that on the kickoff. So Pike will lead you 38 7 with 629 to play here in the third quarter. This is Intermountain Sports Network. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow. All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex. 38-7, Pikeville leads it by 31 with 6.29 to go. And with the penalty, they'll be kicking from midfield. See, now's the time you try your little pop-up kick and see what you can do with it. It's like the rain is slacking down. I see a couple of umbrellas go down. Yeah, Coach Holland's dad here. Yep. Uh, Big Al. Yeah, he's sitting right here right in front of us, and he's put his umbrella down. Kick, and they're going to kick it deep, and it'll be taken three yards deep in the end zone, and he'll bring it back out. Bring it out to the 20. So they'll bring it out to the 20. It'll be first and 10 for Warner. Or do they do the 25 in college? Just 25, oh, yeah, 25. in college, yeah. So 20, first and 10 from the 25. Pikeville with 31 point lead, 629 to go. So the Bears have only punted the ball one time, Bert. Yeah, and that's that's going back to the, you know, the offense moving the ball. And they've scored a bunch of unanswered. Let's see, 14, 24 unanswered. Mm-hmm. Wins to the right, one wide out left. Eye formation in the pistol. Young takes it. And Young Throws rolling out. out, wants to throw. Hit as he throws. Oh. And incomplete. Actually, Young, I think, fell down wanting to get the roughing the passer call. Yeah, and, and, and the ball went through two different pot wall defenders' hands back there. It could have been intercepted. You know, sometimes you take a wide receiver that can't catch and make a defender out of it. Yeah. <laughs> 6.22 to play here in the third quarter, 38-7, Pikeville. Warner taking their time in the huddle. Pikeville, I think they've got Warner uh, like mentally. Warner's having a mental problem now. They're about to, I think they're almost beat. Trips left, one wide out right. Uh, Young, yeah, jumped. we're going to get it this time. Jumped. No, offense. I'm going to say somebody jumped and drew them off sides. Well, we're waiting on legal procedure on the offense. Still didn't get his mic right. <laughs> so it'll bring up second down 15. The referees have struggled. Yeah, he has. 
wants to make sure I would make sure I say I have remember one night one of them didn't get it right and they, they got onto a fan with their mic on it was bad <laughs> <laughs> trips to the left one wide out right young in the shotgun Light wolf, and here gonna try to run the draw and, uh, oh, I tell you what tackle. he went at it hard though yeah he did let's see that was um, Getting my other get roster out here. That was Crosby. So it'll be third down and 10 coming up for the Royals. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Young in the shotgun. Young back to throw. Pike will try to bring some pressure. He throws it out across the middle. It's going to be caught. And, and it ain't going to be a first down. Well, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. You're I right. think he's going to. Well, not, he gave it to him. I knew he was. Yep. I didn't think he was there either, Bird, but the official thought so. Yep. He's been generous on his spots a couple times. He sure has. He was on that one for sure. 525 to play. Here in the third quarter, Pike will up. 38-7. Young will bring his troops up to the line. This time it'll be trips to the right, one wide out left. One back in the backfield with him, Young. Takes the snap, and he's going to try to run it himself. Uh, and they, they, they had him. They they still they got him. No, they don't. Now yeah, they, they finally do. get him. Ball on loose. Bible picks it up. All right. And that could be a touchdown for the Bears. It is. Yes. So the Bears add another one. 44-7. That'd be about a 30-yard scoop and score there. Yep. As uh, Young just kept trying to fight for more yardage and got hit about four times. And finally, somebody dislodged the ball. And Pitewell wisely picked it up and took it into the end zone. And here comes the extra point attempt now for the Bears. So the defense is scored now for Pikeville. Long tail. He snaps down. The kick is up. And it is good. good. It hit the goal post and landed on the inside. So 45-7 <laughs> U-Pike. 4.52 to play here in the third on the Intermountain Sports Network. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. And here's the kick. It's going to be another, another one of those pooch kicks. They're going to fire catch it, and they do at the 35-yard line. Smart move that time. Oh, we got a Warner. flag back here. Yeah. Probably offside, so yep. Warner, will you take the, I'd take the ball myself. But you know. Nope, they're going to kick it again. It'll move the ball back to the 30-yard line for the kick. See if they will try it again. And we're ready to kick it away one more time. Taking their time here. Waiting on the officials. Now we're ready to go back to play, I think. Yep. Maybe not. What's we waiting on those, I guess, the balloons to get out of the range of the football there. <laughs> and again, it's going to be that high-flying pooch kick, and this time he doesn't fair catch it. He's going to return it. 
And Good he's going to go right at the exact same spot, right at the 35. Good tackle. Yep. So Hit him right down around the ankles. He locked on and brought him down. First and 10 now for Warner. Actually, they may have gained a yard on the, the re-kick. Looks like we're marking it to 36. So ball at the 36-yard line, 448 to play here in the third quarter. Pike Bull leading it 45-7. to seven. The Momentum squarely on the backs of the Bears here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Royals do. Who do we come back? Well, we come back in with Young at quarterback. Twins right, one wide out to the left. High formation in the backfield are going to go under center. Young hands it off. And there's a big hole. They got a big hole. Spinning, moving, and a big run out into Pikeville territory is Cosby. Good run right there. Moved the chains. Big play for Warner, 48-yard line now, first and 10. And they've not given up yet? No, they have not. You know, the score, you know, is lopsided 45-7. to seven, But Warner's still working the ball, you know, moving the ball, moving the chains. They're still working. And, and that's the things that you would work Yeah, that's on. what you want to see. Yep. Twins left, one wide out right. Again, under center, Young. Young gets under under center, takes it, second man through again, and oh, he, man, he just ran over the he, defender. He did. Is that uh, Cosby again? Yeah. Twenty six. Felt like a little bowling ball. He just bowled <laughs> over one of them, didn't he? Yes, he did. He he ran over Joe Falker or Fluker. Yep. First and ten ball at the thirty eight yard line now for Warner. Three fifty to play here in the third. Twins left, one wide out right, split backs this time as Young goes out of the shotgun. Young takes it, looking to throw, pumps, fires, got him in. And they'll bring him down inside the 30, just at the 29-yard uh, line. Let's see, is he going to be a first down? Look like he's just going to be short. It was Sanders on the, I thought it was number nine, wasn't it? Maybe not. About a yard short. Yep, just for a first. I guess that's number. Timeout Falk. Timeout Falk. Or Warner. Or Warner, yeah. yeah. Number eight, that's I'm hand. thinking of Faulkner. <laughs> 3.03 to play here in the third quarter, 45-7, U-Pike. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. To your agreement required. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business-grade services you need for less with the fastest small business Internet speeds available today. The peace of mind that comes with a 24-hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex here in Pike. Well, 3.04 to play in the third quarter. U Pike leads Warner 45 to 7. And let's see, Young will be under center with split backs behind him this time. Twins to the left, one wide out right. And he's going to hand it off up the middle. And he's got the first down. That's Cosby again, I believe, on the carry. No, I'm sorry, it's 25, that is uh, Hughie. So first and 10 now for the Royals. They'll come out with twins to the left, one wide out right, and we'll go out of the shotgun with split backs. Young, it's everybody set. 
takes the snap, and he's going to hand it off again. Hughie trying to go out the outside. Hughie running down the field and picks up the first down and then some. He'll pick up about uh, 18 yards, looks like. So it'll be first and goal from the 10. And when he made that turn, made that cut to go down the field, he, he turned the burners on right there. Yeah, he showed some definite speed there, there's no doubt. So first and goal from the 10, twins to the right, one wide out left, split backs again. And they're gonna hand it off again and he makes another nice cut again, I believe that's uh, that 25 again. Yep, Cos no it's 26, Cosby. And it'll be second down and goal now from the four, four yep. So second and goal from the four. Minute 40 to go here in the third. Twins. And Warner going to go under center. Going to go to the I formation under center. And they're going to hand it off again. Touchdown. And into the end zone goes Cosby. So Cosby makes it 45-13 with a minute 26 to go in the third. Yeah, he had some good runs in that uh, series yeah, right there. He did. And Warner ran the ball much better here to start the second half. Of course, Upike might be letting up a little bit somewhat when they go with the big lead, too. Here comes the extra point attempt. It is up, and it is good. And it's 45-14, U Pike with a minute 26 to play in the third on IMSN. Hall Funeral Home has provided caring services since 1947, helping families honor the ones they love. With convenient parking and access, our facilities provide an affordable, comfortable place for friends and families, whether you need spacious accommodations or a more intimate setting. Hall Funeral Home's pre-planning services can shield loved ones from making decisions at a stressful time. For pre-planning or at your time of need, trust the caring professionals at Hall Funeral Home in Martin. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow! All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. Welcome back to Hamley Athletic Complex. 45-14, U-Pike leading it with a minute 26 to play. Warner kicking it away. Pike will take it at the seven-yard line. Trying to come back out against, going against the grain there, and he'll go down at about the 27. Ferguson on the carry. And Ferguson, we've got a flag on the play, too. Just now saw it. Let's see what we got. Here's the call. Yep. Holding on the Bears. So back it up 10 yards and mm -hmm. start over again. So bring it back to the 16 yard line, looks like. So we first and 10 now. U Pike with a minute 19 to go here in the third. And you find getting everybody set. We got Wofford, I believe, in the game. Twins right, one wide out left. And Wofford's going to hand it off. That is Willie McLeod. And he's not going to get very much, if anything. He was slammed to the ground. But he's a, we'll call it no gain on the play. Second down and 10 coming up now for the Bears. Under a minute to go here in this third quarter. And the rain's picked up yeah. again, Charlie. Losing some people now with the big score in the rain. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Twins left, one wide out right. Wofford. 
takes it, and he's going to look it, throw it out oh. across the middle, oh, and he held kick. on to it. You go kick. down at about the 30-yard line. Who is that? Is that 14? 14. 14 uh, wrong one. Jordan Owens. Jordan Owens. Owens. So 20 seconds left. You Pike doesn't have to take another snap here in this third quarter if they don't want to. And the, and the I don't think they're going to. Yep. That'll be the end of three. U Pike will lead it 45 14 on the Intermountain Sports Network. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. John Earl Hunt has over 30 years experience representing disabled people. I'm John Earl Hunt, and I've dedicated my legal career to helping people who are unable to help themselves. If you're unable to work because of job shutdown, or because of physical or mental problems, please call me or come in and see me so that we can discuss your just legal options. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex. Fourth quarter, getting ready to start here, and the Bears lead it 45-14. And that's a big one for the Bears. <coughs> Bears needed that big uh, big lead going into this fourth quarter. It's just stats. And let's see. Wofford keeps it himself, and he's not going to get anywhere. Well, actually, he might get a yard after all that. Half yard, okay. Bring up a second down and 10 coming up now for Pike. We'll call it... Nine and a half, I guess. They'll come out with twin, well, one wide out to the right, twins to the left. Wofford looking to the sideline to get the call here. And now we're going to get set and ready to go. Twins to the left, one wide out right. Wofford, let's... Man in motion, that's McLeod, and Willie McLeod Great catch. it in and goes out of bounds at about the 35-yard line, a pickup of about five yards. Yeah, you're right. Great catch. <laughs> he caught it, and then he let it go of it, and then he got it back, and then he made the turn and cut up field. Looks like a pretty good rain going on out there right now. Like I say, it's so overcast, it looks like almost a night game out here with the lights on. Yeah, we're going to have to get us some uh, windshield wipers on the glass here yeah. before shortly. I've actually seen people out there with squeegees doing it before. <laughs> Twins right, one wide out left. Wofford in the shotgun. Wofford takes it, and he's going to hand it off to Willie McLeod. McLeod makes a nice move, gets to the outside, breaks a couple of tackles. And he's going to go down at the 40-yard line, so a big play. See, 10, Got a flag, 20, chart. 30, yep. Got a flag right here just before you get to the 50-yard line. Okay. They were trying to figure it out. I think he's had a block in the back. Is that what he called? Mm, I think so. Or holding? Or holding. So that'll be end up making it a first down. So it'll end up being a game. Well, no, they didn't give him the first down. Now they're giving him the first down. No, they're not. Now they're <laughs> They're calling it third and third and about a, about a yard. Yeah. 
So Wofford in the shotgun. Willie McLeod back there with him. Trips to the left. Look for a run play here. Yep, it'll be Wofford keeping it himself. Wofford has the first down. He goes out of bounds near the 45. We'll call it to 45. Be a gain of six. First and 10 Bears. Well, 55 to play now in the ball game. Be twins to the left, one wide out right for the Bears. In the shotgun, be Wofford. Willie McLeod back there with him. Wofford takes the snap. And he will hand it off again to Willie McLeod. Good run. And Willie McLeod still pushing in. Wow. The first down, he's going to pick up 12 yards. And a host of others. Yes. So first down for the U Pike Bears, 45 14 score. 12 10 to play here in the ball game. He just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and, and after he got the first down. Yeah, as long as you keep the ball covered up, you can keep those legs turning and try to get more yards. Yep. So watching that clock tick down, they won't take the snap until very much, very little time left on the clock now every play. Twins to the left, one wide out right. Wofford in the shotgun. And Wofford... Looking, going to throw, got a man open, and oh. can't hold on to it. Hit him right in the chest. Tough, uh, tough, that hurts Wofford, because Wofford put it where it belonged. So Dylan Wheatley, I believe, in the, in the, at the back right now. Single setback. Twins to the left. One wide out to the right now. Wofford in the shotgun, along with Dylan Wheatley. And there will be motion going back to the far side. And he's going to hand it again to Dylan Wheatley up the middle. Wheatley picks up about four yards, maybe five. We'll call it four, second down and six. Third and six on the incompletion. So third down six coming up for Wofford. The Bears, yeah. Wofford, when he runs that read option stuff, he, he reads that defensive end and he hangs and he hangs and he hangs and then he'll go ahead and give it to him, you know, to the running back. Well, with his running. I like, I like to watch him. Yeah, I do. I like the way he I, plays. I like how he plays. And there's the eye out of the pitch. pistol. Yep, pistol pitch back to Willie McLeod, and he's going to be short of the first down. So it'll be fourth and what about two, maybe? Mm -hmm. Of course, this would be a 50 plus field goal, so I think you'll go for it on fourth down here instead. Dylan Wheatley back in along with Willie McLeod. Wofford in the shot, in the pistol. One wide out each way. Wofford hands it to Willie McLeod. Yeah, the flag. Yeah. First down if it counts. I don't know if it will. Let's see. Uh, Pop will now is signaling that it was Warner. Penalties decline to play. We'll stay in first down Bears. Ten minutes to play in the ball game. 45-14 U-Pike. Bears moving the ball here on a rain-soaked Saturday. One, one wide out each way now for U-Pike. 
Wofford looking back to the sideline. They're holding the play to make sure there's no, that they use the most time on the clock. Back to that pistol eye. Oh, and it'll be picked up in the back by Willie McLeod, and he's going to be dropped for about a six-yard loss. <laughs> the ball got back to the quarterback and ended up back in uh, number seven's hands. Yep. We got that was a real pistol situation yep. right there. Yeah, yeah, it was. Do we have a fl no? We don't have a flag. I don't know what we got. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> Trying to get a dry football in, I believe. So we second down and 15 as we go under nine minutes here in the ball game. Twins left, one wide out right. Shotgun formation. Wofford, gonna hand it off this time. Willie yeah. McLeod getting banged up through there that time, picks up about a yard. So third and 14 coming up now for Pike. I don't know how McLeod got through that first hole. Yeah. Uh, he's taking a beating, isn't he? Well, he sure did, don't he? So third down 15, we got 8.20 to play here in the contest. 45-14. U Pike with the lead. And here comes the blitz from Warner. And Wofford will look back to the sideline. We're in the shotgun. Wofford takes it. And he keeps it himself. Breaks a tackle. And he's going to get out to the 35. We got a flag. Coming out from the White Hat. He's looking for a number or looking for confirmation. <laughs> Holding on the Bears. It'll be fourth down and 15. 7.50 to play. Let's see, will the Bears see it would be a... 52-yard field goal attempt, so they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Wofford in the pistol, looks back to the sideline, trips to the left, one wide out right. And Warner showing the blitz. Here they come. Bible picks it up. Wofford steps up into the pocket, throwing downfield, got a man. He it, and it'll be down at the five-yard line. First and goal. Give me a number. 85. So 85 on the carry or catch. James J.T. Friels. And after Wofford released that pass, he took a lick. Yes. Ball at the five, first and goal now for the Bears. Seven minutes to play here in the contest. A great pass and great catch on yeah, that. Yeah, it was awesome. Twins right, one wide out left. Offered in the pistol. We got a whistle. Oh, we got some pushing and shoving going on. So, false start on the Bears. It'll bring it up to... First and goal now back out at the 10, isn't it? Or is it the 11? It's at the 11, sorry. They were down, I thought they were at the five, they were at the six. First and goal now from the 11, 625 to play, or 635 to play. Wofford looking back to the sideline. We're down under 15 seconds on the play clock. We'll go to the pistol. Wofford takes it, and he's going to hand it off. Uh-oh. Uh, and <laughs> coming back, working. Wofford, oh, what, 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 quarterback. Now he's and cut back. back again. Keeps trying to get loose. Still going. And out of bounds. And now he's going to get a late flag on Warner. Let's see. Lee unnecessary roughness. Let's see where he ends up putting the ball at. Well, we got a flag here on the field too. Some another flag. 
So I think you're going to have offsetting penalties. I think they're talking about it here to see. Or there may be a live ball and a dead ball foul, too. Mm -hmm. That might be the difference. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Multiple penalties. Blocking blow the waist on the Bears. How do you get how? How do you get to unsupport the second one on the Bears? Well, it was obviously he was slung down five uh, yards out of bounds. I don't know. I don't know. If I don't. I don't. I may have missed it. I may have. I won't. Because he threw it just as he was slung down mm -hmm. over here on the side. Yeah, because I was watching the white hat and he threw it. And, and it was when he was thrown out of bounds down here. But the ball will be first and uh, goal from the 43. Wow. <laughs> first and goal from the 43. We've got the uh, pistol eye out there for the Bears. One wide out each way. And it ran it off to Willie McLeod. And Willie is dropped for a loss of a yard. Move the ball out to the 44. Second and goal now from the 44. I think we're uh, taking time off the clock now. Yeah. Second and goal again from the 43. Forty. 5's 14 lead for the Bears, and we've got 5.15 to play here in the ball game and 15 seconds on the play clock. So it'll be right at five minutes before Pike will take a snap. We've got the pistol eye again. Got Wofford at quarterback, and you got Wheatley, and let's see, I'm, I'm not sure who the back one is. I have to look, see. And looking to throw, Wofford, man, he tried to thread the needle yeah, on that he one. he sure did. He's looking for Anna Free Brown. And ball gets knocked away. It'll bring up a third down and goal from the 44. And he had Darian Wesley wide open going down the sideline. He didn't see him. Yep. Third down and goal. So third and goal now from the 44. And it's 4.51 to go here in the ball game. Clock stopped due to the incompletion. Darian Wesley didn't he play basketball? He was player of the year. Yeah, his senior year last year. That's what I thought. Twins right, one wide out left. In the shotgun, Wofford hands it off to Willie McLeod. So fourth down and goal now from the 44. And the punt team. Probably going to punt it away here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the punt team's coming out. They'll try to uh, get it down, change change field position a little bit this trip. But only 4:20 to play here in the ball game. They won't have to punt it till about 20 seconds or till about four minutes to go on the clock. A lot of fours. Fourth and 44. The ball on the 44 on the fourth quarter. <laughs> be a good be a good poker hand, wouldn't it? Fight were ready to punt it away at the four minute mark. Yep. <laughs> and they punt it away. A nice high punt. They'll let it take a bounce. It'll bounce to the six yard line where they'll down it. Well, the seven, according to the official. First and 10 now for Warner. I, I have to agree, Rick Bentley said that's the first punt on fourth and goal for the Bears in school history. And Bear, between Rick and I, we've seen about every game, so I'd say that's pretty true. It's definitely the only time it's ever happened at home, we can guarantee you that. So I believe that's the first time I've ever seen that. Yep. First and ten from the seven. 350 to play in the ball game. Warner will go under center with Young. Young will hand it off. And he's going to get out to about the 11, pick up about four. So 
Second down and six coming up now. Or second down and seven. Coming up for the Warner. They're getting me tickled over talking about Alabama now. They're giving up on this one, which is pretty much over. The Royals, they're going to be another handoff up the middle. They're going to get out to about the 15, maybe 16-yard line. Still be third down and about three coming up now. We'll call it third and two for the Royals. One wide out split each way. This time Young will be in the shotgun with split backs. Young looking to throw, pumps, trying to go deep, got a man open. Wide open. And they're going to catch him. And the ball, ball came loose after. But he was down. Actually, he was not down. They blew the whistle early is what oh, happened. Okay. But he, they did blow it dead. You're right. But you've got to hold on to it all the way to the ground, don't you? Yes. So it'll be first and 10 at the 46-yard line now for Warner. High formation. They're going to hand it off second man through. And he's going to get about two. Was that, uh, who was that on the carry? 25, Hughie. One wide out each way. Well, twins left, one wide out right. Young takes the snap. He's going to hand it off again. And again, that's Hughie on the carry. I tell you what, he's an elusive little yes, running back. He is. And he got right up behind his big lineman there and just sort of got right on his, you got a hold of his jersey and was just sort of, you know, pushing him to go. Yep, use, yep. use him as a shield. Yeah. First and 10 ball at the 40, I mean the 27. Twins right. Young in the shotgun, back to throw. Young pumping, throwing deep, and in. Oh, we're going to get interference. Well, you might as well at that point if you're beat. Because mm -hmm. in. Let's see what to call. Half distance, is that what he said, first down? Yes. That'll move it to the, let's see, the 14, oh, yep, 13. So the ball at the 13-yard line, first and 10 for Warner, minute 31 to go. Time ticking away in this one. Twins right, one wide out left, Young under center. Going to hand it off to Hughie, and Hughie ball. Oh, fumble. Out. Fumble, and, and it's still loose. Who's got it? If it Pikeville has it, it's a, it comes out to the 20. Bears say they have it. Let's see. They're still trying to. You know, at the bottom of that scrum, you never know what's going to happen. Okay, they've already given the signal. They said to the Pikeville ball. So let's see what the call is here. Yep, the official's going to talk about it. Pavel's de defensive. Yep, the Pavel thought they had it. Yep. It's going to take him 10 minutes. He's So, Upike has the ball at the 20-yard line. That, that wasn't that hard to explain, was it? No, not at all. You know, he's, they've really struggled today. Yeah, they have. My communication-wise, yeah. But, you know, the, on that snap of that play right there, the quarterback just about fumbled it on the, on the right. 
because the it hit his hands and then he, he like he was about to drop it and then he got his hands back on it. Looking looking downfield. Mm -hmm. So we first and ten at the twenty for the Bears. So they can just run the clock out here, see if Warner they could take the uh, victory formation if Warner will let them, but Warner's got three timeouts, so they can, no, two timeouts. See if they will take any of them. And Pike will take the knee. Just run the clock out. Yep. This, this is a big win for Coach Al Holland, uh, and especially in the conference. Uh, that three division thing throws me for a loop. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. But uh, it's a, you know, they can celebrate tonight. Yeah. Go back to work tomorrow night, yeah? Yeah. I'll be watching film, I'm sure, getting ready for next week as Pye will back in the victory formation. They'll take, uh, they'll have to take one more snap. And unless Warner takes a timeout, this ball game is over as 30 seconds ticking down, 45-14. Your score as the U-Pike Bears will come away with a big win here on a rainy Saturday afternoon watching the clock just tick down. And the officials walking off the field, so this one is over. The Bears will win it 45-14. We'll take a break and be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Appalachian Wireless is gearing up for smartphone season. And we say, out with the old and in with the new. That's right, during smartphone season when the latest and greatest smartphones are released, bring in your eligible smartphone device to Appalachian Wireless, trade in and upgrade to one of the hottest smartphones. Samsung fan? How about $100 off the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9? Just another reason why Appalachian Wireless proves better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. To your agreement required. In times like these, a small business has to work smart to make it. Gearheart Broadband can help. We've got the business-grade services you need for less. With the fastest small business internet speeds available today, the peace of mind that comes with a 24-hour Microtech local customer support hotline and our commitment to grow when you do with a scalability that's both fast and flexible on our reliable network. Make the smart choice. Call or visit imctv.com today. This summer, you need to enjoy family time. Don't worry about things like this happening. Stand out from the pack. Choose a local security company that cares. Get Microtech. Take advantage of our new summer specials. Check this out. Get a basic wireless security system with not one, but two cameras for only $39.95 per month, plus six months free monitoring. Wow. All new signups are entered to win a 55-inch Samsung QLED TV. With Microtech, families matter. No matter how you connect, Gearheart Broadband delivers fast, reliable internet and Meshify Wi-Fi throughout your home for intense gaming, easy sharing, and buffer-free streaming on every device, all at once, with local experts ready to help. Connect to faster internet. Connect to Meshify Wi-Fi. Connect to now. Call or click imctv.com to upgrade today. Welcome back to the uh, Hamley Athletic Complex here at Pikeville High School as the U-Pike Bears win it 45-14 over the Royals of Warner. And we'll give you some uh, final stats here for the ball game. Let's see, first downs, 28-17 in favor of the Bears. Uh, let's see, Pikeville had three, went on it, went four, four times on fourth down and were three for three, that's pretty good. Rushing yards, 29 attempts, 114 yards for the Royals. Bears, 44 attempts, 254 yards. Passing, 10 of 20, 167 yards for Warner. Pikeville was 16 of 25 for 221 yards. Let's see, fumbles. Pikeville fumbled it once, able to recover it. Warner fumbled it four times, lost two of them. Uh, let's see, we'll go down to some individual stats for you real quickly. First for the visitors, Warner, Ralph Hughley had... Uh, Nine attempts, 59 yards. Crosby had 42 yards on seven attempts. Javon Wilson had uh, 27 yards, six attempts. Buddy Edwards carried it twice, nine yards. DeMarco, one 
for one. Michael Young carried it one time for minus 10 yards, and Tommy and Andre Tommy carried it three times for 14. Passing-wise, Young was 6 of 13, 136 yards, and no touchdowns. Tom, Andre Tommy was 4 of 7, 31 yards, no touchdowns. And receiving, uh, Jeffrey Suarez, two catches, 71 yards. Demetrius Emerson had one catch for 39 yards. Theodore Hammonds had two catches, 26 yards. Cosby had one for 17. Hughley, two for 13. Martin had two for one. And for the Bears, Andre Willis almost hit the century mark. 14 carries, 97 yards, three touchdowns. Willie McLeod carried it 15 times for 65 yards. Bowen Smith, five times for 48 yards. Trevon Wofford, six times, 27 yards. Dylan Wheatley, two carries, nine yards. And Duke Ferguson, one for a minus two yards. Passing-wise, Bowen Smith, 12 of 19, 146 yards, one touchdown. Trevon Wofford, Wofford had two or three, three attempts, three completions, five attempts, 48 yards. And Duke Ferguson had one attempt, uh, one completion, 27 yards. So receiving for the Bears, Braxton Whitmore, four catches, 69 yards, and a touchdown. J.T. Frills, two for 58 yards. Uh, Zondre Willis, two for 34. Anna Free Brown, two for 29. Jordan Owens, one for 15. Willie McLeod, three for nine. And Raquan Birch, two for seven as the Bears come away with a 45-14 win, Bird. Yeah, and uh, this is, a, like I said, a good win for Coach Hal Holland and his ball club. Uh, getting a win after two losses there and uh, getting ready to prepare for a road trip down to uh, Point, which I think is in Georgia, I believe. I think so. And uh, But, uh, yeah, a big win for this uh, Bears team for sure. So the Bears will come away with a big win. That'll wrap it up for us here from the Hamley Athletic Complex. For my partner, Bird Collier, for Wayne Fugit on camera, for Alex back at the TV station, for Ronnie over here switching everything for us on Pike TV and the rest of the Pike TV crew, this is Charlie Pinson. We'll see you next week on the Intermountain Sports Network.